Welcome to BBC News. The Prime Minister, Theresa May, says she has absolute faith in the Trident nuclear missile system, despite claims that an unarmed test firing veered off course. It's claimed an unarmed rocket fired from HMS Vengeance in the Atlantic Ocean shot off in the direction of the United States last year. But on the BBC's Andrew Marr programme this morning, Mrs May declined to answer if she'd been made aware of the incident before a crucial vote on the future of the Trident programme in Parliament. Daniel Bircher reports. Missile away. This is what the launch of a Trident missile looks like. Last June, the Royal Navy carried out what it calls a routine unarmed test launch from HMS Vengeance. But according to the Sunday Times, it went wrong. The paper says the submarine was about 200 miles off the coast of Florida. It was due to fire the missile 5,600 miles to a location off the west coast of Africa. Instead, the paper says it may have veered off in the wrong direction. That was just weeks before a vote in Parliament to renew Britain's ageing Vanguard submarines. Today, the Prime Minister was asked four times if she had known about the alleged incident when she had made a statement on Trident to MPs last July. The issue that we were talking about in the House of Commons was a very serious issue. It was about whether or not we should renew Trident, whether we should look to the future okay. and have a replacement Trident. That's what we were talking about in the House of Commons. That's what the House of Commons voted for. I believe in defending our country. Jeremy Corbyn voted against it. He doesn't want to defend our country with an independent nuclear deterrent. Prime Minister, did you know? There are tests that take place all the time uh, mm. for our, uh, regularly for our nuclear deterrents. What we were talking about in that debate that took place okay, not, was about know, I'm not going to get an answer to this. Can well, I just ask about one other thing? Then, if I... The paper says there had been four previous Trident tests since 2000. In the past, the MOD has issued a press release and video of successful tests. This time it did not. The Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has accused the Prime Minister of not telling the public about the alleged misfiring. I think this failure is something that ought to pause everyone for a moment and just think what happened. We understand the Prime Minister chose not to inform Parliament about this and it's come out through the media some months later. It's a pretty catastrophic error when a missile goes in the wrong direction. While the Ministry of Defence says the test launch was a success for the crew and the boat, it has not denied the report that the missile itself might have veered off course. It does, though, say the capability and effectiveness of the Trident missile is unquestionable. Daniel Bircher, BBC News. Disarmament, thanks for coming in. What do you make of it, first of all? Well, it's a real crisis, isn't it? There, are, the, there was a, an elision, uh, not to say an untruth, by um, Theresa May this morning when she tried to imply that there were lots and lots of tests. And of course, there are a lot of overall tests of nuclear devices, but missile tests are very rare. It was an unarmed missile, though. Uh, Nonetheless, it shows what the dangers are. One of the unexplored issues in relation to nuclear weapons is the degree of the lack of safety that there is. There are at least two major incidents every year recorded by the um, UN body and they only record the most dangerous and the sort of highest level. You're of talking about uh, across accidents. the world, though. Oh, across oh, oh the world. yes, not, yes, Britain, not yes. with Trident in but particular. But there have been a number of, of serious accidents in Britain, too, over the years. Uh, are you concerned at all about the timing of this whole sequence of events? Yeah, absolutely. It's clearly the case that had this been raised in Parliament at the time of the vote on Trident replacement last July, this would have substantially affected the vote. How do you Subst know it's substantially and what, what do you mean by substantially? Well, I don't think you have to be a nuclear disarmer to realise the danger that nuclear weapons, the danger of accidents and so forth, present and there are it's not only a group it's not only the group of Labour and other SNP, Green Party etc MPs who are against nuclear weapons that would be concerned but but MPs who are prepared to vote to replace Trident would still be extremely concerned to hear how dangerous it is. If we look at what the vote was, it was over 400 for and just over 100 against. Would there have been enough doubt in people's minds, do you think, to change that vote around? Well, who can say? Because that's, that's quite a big gap, isn't it? It is. Who can say? Prob possibly not. 
but probably there would have been a substantial shift in the vote, I would suspect. Um, at the very least, you'd expect a number of uh, MPs to sustain to abstain, to raise objections and so forth. Do you think that, I mean, there's been calls for an inquiry, Nicola mm. Sturgeon in yeah. particular calling mm. for an inquiry. If there is such a thing, what would you want that inquiry to achieve or what action would you want it to take? Well, I, I think two things. I think, first of all, the public has a right to the maximum exposure of issues. We would want to know, we would want the public to be made aware of uh, the tests, the costs, the frequency and so forth. Uh, and we would like for that to be completely open and transparent. You usually do but hear that, don't you? I can just you? finish. Yeah. One other thing, mm. particularly, is I very much agree with the call of the SNP and others for an inquiry on this particular accident. I was watching Theresa May on the Andrew Marr programme this morning and she was very flustered very flustered indeed when she was asked questions which she ducked. Okay, Carol Turner, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the Prime Minister has also confirmed she'll visit America to meet